Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to seeing sleepy Miss Bianca Marie. We're gonna go over some sales today, but first we're going to jump back to just a few hours ago where I pulled the few final sales that happened yesterday on Monday, President's Day. Sorry, this video is a little tardy. You guys know my mom lives next door. I know we talk about my mom a lot, but my grandma also lives next door. She's 87 years old and uh, she was in the hospital and unexpectedly got to come home yesterday. So that's great, but I did not have this video ready and we just had some prep work to be ready to have her back at home. So let's head back and see what went out this morning. All right, this is my little inventory room. Sorry if you hear the dryer. All right, box D, I sold this little pair of native Jeffersons. Always a good pickup, even in terrible condition. These will always sell. I picked these up from Goodwill for $4. They sold on Mercari for $20 plus shipping. All right, box P. This box is going to be full because we just put this away. It never fails. I'm not complaining, but I swear the moment I put items away, that's when they start to sell. So this one's full. I've got to reach in. I'll grab it out. All right, these are two leotards. I think they're both Capizio. They were my daughter's. We just don't really like long sleeve leotards being in Florida, so they were in excellent condition. They sold on Poshmark for $15. And the last one, I forgot to write the bin number down. This is my little easy spreadsheet, box Z. So I write the dates usually if I know it. Um, where it came from, how much I paid, and what box it's in, and then where it sells, and so on. So, box Z, way up high. My camera to help. All right, this is the brand City Chic, which I had heard a lot about, but honestly, this dress took a while to sell. I went back and forth with this buyer. I think I had this dress listed at $55, which was less than comps were showing, but they first offered me like, 15 and I had eight dollars and 18 cents into it from a style encore clearance event and we finally settled on 28 dollars on Poshmark since it was an offer there was no discounted shipping so that's fine I just it's one of those things where if there I kept declining offers and they kept coming back so yeah all right let's get these things packed up and I've got a few more things I already pulled yesterday on the holiday uh, to show you in the office all right, we are in my office now. You guys know I do package or send them in these little clear bags. I've got all these little stickers, so I'm extra, and I usually try to find a sticker that kind of coordinates with what they purchased. Um, these two items are just going to go in these poly mailers. These sold on Mercari. I don't know if they're going to a boy or girl. I have boy and girl mailers. Mailers make me happy, so they get this one because... I mean, who doesn't love cheeseburgers and fries? And uh, let's see. All right. This sale happened on Poshmark. It is a little Madewell bralette. It's been listed a long time. This came in one of my very first thread up 200 pound boxes, $1.32 into it. And it sold for $18. I sold these G Star jeans. Another one I went back and forth with the buyer. I feel like buyers that are willing to send offers have no shame these days and that's fine but every offer I've been getting lately is at least 50% off my asking price so I had 96 cents into these from a thread up denim rescue box and they sold for $28 on posh and then I had this little kid is in sale personal items these little shorts you'll see the photos these were in play condition this is why I say if you have kids and you have items that even once upon a child, for example, won't take, bundle them together. There's nothing wrong with these other than they show wash wear. They might have some little stains. They're like the under the dress playground cartwheel type shorts. Moms are always looking for those. I mean, I know I have purchased so many bundles of them over the years. And this little t-shirt um, I got probably originally at the bins or Goodwill. Uh, just says Mama Bear. So that bundle is going out for... $15.85. And then this one I already packed up because I had a box already. I, I got an item in the mail, so I just reused my box. This is a pair of Livy and Luca sandals. Uh, they sold on Poshmark. Honestly, I can't remember what they sold for. I forgot to look. Maybe $25, $28, $30. 
something like that. You'll see it on the screen. I picked those actually I got on Poshmark as part of a bundle deal. My daughter did not like how they fit. Uh, so I am making money on that. All right. So these things, oh, I forgot to say this little bra. I'm using this teeny little small flat rate box. I like using these for little items rather than having it swallowed in the big tie that it'll just sit cute in there once I put my sticker. So these are all going to go out today and let's chat about what else has sold very recently. Best thing we ever did was invest in a huge mailbox. So my mailman will pick these up right from my house. No pickup scheduling required. All right, since the last time we have done a what sold video, I did sell an additional $500 in net profit. You guys that have been along know this is part of my death pile diaries and I am not allowing myself to go to the bins or thrifting and whatnot until I hit $500. So I've just been keeping track of that. It's, I had to add a new column to my spreadsheet because I don't typically track just net sales. So anyway, we left off at the end of January. Uh, the sales, let's see, I had two sales. No, I had a lot of sales on January 31st, but I shared one of them with you because that went out that morning that I released this video. So a lot more days had to pass this time for me to hit 500, but I did already go thrifting because I'd already hit the 500 before I'm filming this. And that video came out, I think two videos ago, I spent a couple hours and I came home with five items and listed them right away, which that is my goal. That should be all resellers goals, right? You don't want to just pay to be a storage unit and not get your items listed. Two of those items sold. I listed everything Friday, two of them sold over the weekend. So that was really like motivating for me. So I have been spending a lot of time listing. I did film, I'm in the middle of filming, a cleaning shoes video that's been requested. And so all I have been listing the last couple of days are shoes. And I have now that I'm doing um, this video, I've earned to go again. So I will be going to the bins later this week. Uh, all right, let's jump into what has sold. February was, well, I say was, it's February 20th. It's like messing with my emotions. I've had a couple no sale days and then I've had a few days where I'm like, holy moly, the sales just keep coming in. So I don't know. It kind of seems like February is just a weird month for a lot of people, but all right. The first thing to sell was on Poshmark. It was, uh, let's see, I'll move over a little, I'll put everything here. A Levi's denim dress. This came out of my most recent thread up 400 pounds. They're 200 pound orders. I ordered 400. There's a whole playlist if you're interested. Um, so I ended up having $5.07 into the, my cost of goods. Overall, it was probably around a dollar, but I have since changed it. I'm only recording what I decide to sell online. And that sold for a whole $12, but I just thought it was cute. It wasn't gonna bring me a lot, so I was happy with that. This next item was a Victoria's Secret blue ribbed tank top. This is an item I took on as part of a consignment I did last year for somebody. At this point, she told me just to donate everything or keep it and sell it or whatever. So I have nothing into it and it sold for $9 on Posh. This pair of kids pajamas, I'm pretty sure this brand is from like Timu or Amazon or Wish, I don't know. Uh, but they, they were, they felt okay enough for me to want to list them. They were glow in the dark. I had a dollar and 35 cents into them from a thread up kids, 50 pound box. And they sold for $14 on Kitizen. So that was a good sale. This next item also sold on Kitizen. I believe this week was the kid economy event. Don't hold me to that, but I think that's why I had several extra Kitizen sales that week. Um, this magic school bus, little girls twirly dress, adorable. My daughter wore it on a field trip and we got so many compliments. So I was really happy to pass that along. It sold for $16. All right, we are jumping into February now. Um, I sold a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch dark wash shorts. These also came from a consignment, uh, the same one. I've only done one. Uh, my next video will be, I took on another consignment for her. I'll be sharing those items with you, but it was her items that showed me that, wow, Abercrombie is like having a moment. Those, those were the first items to sell of hers. The, this pair of shorts took a while. Uh, they sold on Poshmark for $22. This Hannah Anderson little girl's orange sweatshirt, to be honest, I don't know where I got it initially. I know I got it brand new. I want to say it was when sometimes you can find Hannah items at Marshall's or TJ Maxx, 
but both of my girls loved it. So we've had it for several years now, but it sold on Poshmark for $12. I love that. I love when basically I get items on rent or for free for my kids to wear because I always end up making more money back than what I initially spent after they're done with it. All right, this express top, I imagine sold for Valentine's Day. I found a shop, um, I, do, I don't do a lot of online, you know, buying things to resell, but if I find something I want to buy for myself or my kids, I always make a bundle deal in that shop and find at least one or two things that I can sell online that will then either make what I wanted free or reduce it. That was the case for this express top. Technically speaking, I had $11.54 into it because I just divided how many items I bought. I think it was a six item bundle on Posh in December and I turned around and sold it on Posh for $20. So it was this little cute shirt. I'm happy with that because, I mean, what did I buy? Oh, Beta Brand pants. I bought a couple new, new pairs of pants for myself for super cheap. All right, this is a bins item. It was this moth from Anthropology Red Crochet Cardigan, sold for $17. I had another kid is in sale. Uh, we are to like February 3rd. And it was this Jamie K, amazing kids brand. If you find it, um, I've only ever found it at Once Upon a Child. It's not something I have found like in the thrift stores, but it's in a very expensive sought after brand. They make really cute things for kids. Um, so I did initially get this at Once Upon a Child for $6. I made Molly wear it once and it sold for $25. This was an item also came from that consignment that I had given up on all the things, but this was a old Lily Pulitzer dress. It had cold shoulders. It had a tear. It just was not a super great. And I think it was a size extra, extra small, but it sold on Kitizen for $20. So sometimes I've said this before, if you find Lily Pulitzer items, it was a great print, that vibrant neon typical Lily. People will pay to use the fabric. They make earrings, they make headbands, and if they can use official Lily fabric, they can get more money for it. So I always list Lily no matter the condition. This item, I finally sold um, an item from, I, I opened a couple mystery boxes from this mystery gift box company months ago and I listed some of them. This is the first thing to actually sell. It was a fossil new and packaged wallet, leather wallet. Here it is. Um, so I had $7.50 into it if I had paid for that box, but I believe they gifted me that box, but that's how much it would have cost and it sold for $20 on Mercari, but it took a really long time. Also on Mercari, uh, this came in a Thread Up Kids 50 pound box. I would not list this item if it came to my house today, given I'm just trying to not, this would have gone to the Once Upon a Child, but my theory is once I list items, I don't take items out of my inventory. It's already, the work has already been done. I don't know, I, maybe if I ran out of storage, I would, but this came in a Thread Up Kids 50 pound box, like my very first one, had 60 cents into it, sold for a whole $4.50, on Mercari after probably two years. All right, this Lululemon black bra sold. I didn't even record the, where I got it because I, I think it came from a thrift store and I listed it the day I came home and it sold like overnight. It was a size 38D and it sold on Poshmark for $38. That style of Lululemon bra is gonna sell a lot faster than like the strappy ones. I feel like those are kind of I'll pick them up at the bins, but I won't pay up for them. This Athleta Momentum Purple Top also came in my recent Thread Up 400 pound box and it sold for $25. It was like an excellent condition. These, I'm glad these sold. Uh, I recently did a Lululemon unboxing that I got, well, I did the unboxing and then the video just got stuck in my phone. It was lost and it was a helpsy Lululemon box and I had a pair of studio pants that were hemmed. They were not cropped, but they were like hemmed for a very, very short person. So I had $16 into them officially, but I got some really great pieces to keep for myself and they sold on Posh for $16. So technically speaking, after shipping and you know, the discount and the Posh fees, I lost $5, but I feel like my net profit was $10.78. So that's just money back towards the box. I was happy to see those go because hemmed things are often hard to sell and they were happy with them. 
All right, this Kenzo kids sweatshirt, another thing I have had sitting around forever, got it listed, boom, it sold super fast. I had a dollar into it from a different thread up kids rescue box and it sold on Poshmark for $17. And it was like a weird kid size 14. Those kid sizes between 14 and 18, even you guys know I love kids items, I don't pick those sizes up to sell. These Stride Right leather sneakers I have had since January of 2023, so over a year. Uh, I averaged my cost of goods at Goodwill one day for $6, but they finally sold. They were like an extra wide, and y'all know some of those cute little babies have those really chubby feet. Mine did not, but they sold for $20. These, I talk about these when you go to the bins. If you see the, those kids' sleep sacks like this one, this was Aiden and Anais. Uh, it sold for $8. So I'm not making tons of money, but they're always going to sell. Uh, the sleep sacks, the ones that have the weight on them, the brand is like the Nest, um, the swaddles that maybe don't zip up, that stuff sells. People, Moms and dads know what brands work for their kids and they seek them out. Uh, all right, we talked about uh, these Tory Burch green loafers. I'll just pop them up quickly. This was an item that I listed on a Friday with items I got from the Goodwill because I kept an item for myself, traded out an item from my own closet because that's what I'm trying to do. If I bring something into my personal closet or my kid's closet, something of mine or theirs is leaving. That's how I'm gonna keep the clutter at a minimum. Um, I've had these for, for at least, I think since 2014. Wore them maybe once at an event. Um, they just, I needed a bigger size. They sold overnight for $60. Uh, you guys know if you watch my like my second death pile video where I just randomly picked a bin, it was full of my personal Lily items I've had been collecting, including this pair of golf chipper shorts. I know I originally got these at Marshalls and they sold for $25 really quickly. All right, this Daisy Billabong one piece swimsuit was a women's junior size. Uh, and but it was that once upon a child, new with the tags, got it for six dollars and fifty cents, sold on Poshmark for forty-five dollars. So even if kid stuff is not your jam, I don't know that I have gone. Oh, I just realized I'm pretty crooked. Sorry. I don't know that I've ever gone into Once Upon a Child and not found women's or even men's items mixed in. So if you're willing to dig, you will find treasures. This was another break even situation. Um, I bought this pink chicken, great brand. Sounds funny, but you'll remember it. It is a higher end kids brand. This sea creature top, I bought it off of Kitizen originally uh, for my daughter. We went on a cruise in the fall and then I found the exact same one at Once Upon a Child. It was used, but I didn't care. So we didn't need two of them. So I sold the new with tags one back on Kitizen for $19.45. I originally had paid $15.98. So I technically lost a couple bucks, but I was still happy to get most of that money back because I also bought that in a bundle and kept a couple of the other items. These, I hear other resellers say that they won't pick up Spanx in smaller sizes, but this was another item you guys have seen, so I'll go quickly. These Spanx black leggings were a size small. I listed them on a Friday and they sold on a Saturday and I had $6.48 into them. They sold full price on eBay for $41. So. Take that for what you will, but I'm always gonna pick up Spanx and especially if it's new with the tags. This petite bateau jacket, I had $1 and two from just a local yard sale and it sold on Mercari for $20. That's a great kids brand. It's expensive. Uh, I don't find it often. These vintage, this was something, this was a bad buy. I'm pretty sure I bought these in 2020 or 2021. It was a pair of these vintage nylon Y2K jogger pants. Like I remember wearing this kind of stuff when I was a kid. Nobody wanted them. They got a ton of attention at first and then nothing. They finally sold for $12. So I made a whole $1.03 gross profit. <laughs> All right, uh, this was something came out of my daughter's closet, the Silly Pulitzer Performance Pink Neon Zip Up. It was a size 4T. She is almost nine and she could technically still squeeze into it. She was very sad when I took it out, but the arms were like this. <laughs> uh, it sold on Poshmark for $16 very quickly. And another Lily Pulitzer item, this I took a loss on as well for $1.62, but it's fine. America's Thrift Supply, I ordered a Lily, couple of Lily Pulitzer bags, mysteries from them. This was like one of the last things to finally go. It was a size zero. This skort, very old, very outdated. When someone sent me a $12 offer on Poshmark, I was like, yes, ma'am, please take it. 
the cost of goods for those items was $10.67, which wasn't terrible. I did find a few pieces to keep for myself. I think they still have those, uh, but you, you have to catch them like right when they drop on Fridays, I believe. All right, this Star Wars Her Universe tank top, very quick sale as well. Got it at the bins recently for a dollar. I mean, I just put a dollar. Sometimes if I don't have a ton of items, I will average out, but for most items I'm putting, I have a dollar. This item was not, we have a dollar 89 cents per pound. Anyway, this sold on Poshmark for $22. All right, actually, I think that sold on Mercari. I think I just wrote Poshmark, but you will have seen it. All right, Matilda Jane. This was a little girl's shirt, size four. Pulled it out of my daughter's closet. No clue where, where or when it came from, but it sold pretty quickly on Kittizen for $13. I'm always gonna pick up Matilda Jane too, if, if the price is right, at the bins or if it's like two or three dollars. You know, so it's not selling like it used to, but it is still selling. This Banana Republic pink pencil skirt. I remember this day I sent out 50 and even 60% offers on items. I was just trying to clear some stuff out. I listed a bunch of pink stuff out of my thread up 400 pounds when Barbie was still kind of all the rage. It is not really anymore. So I sold this for $9 and um, my cost of goods technically was 507, but whatever, it didn't take me long to list and selling a skirt, I'll take it. Two more pairs of Lily Pulitzer shorts. These came out of my own personal closet. They were not great colors or styles. They were worn, faded. I originally got them used in the first place, so I was very happy to take $17 for them. This Jansport backpack, um, I think I've mentioned this before, but Jansport has a lifetime guarantee on their items if it's like not normal wear and tear, so uh, you have to pay to ship it to them. Usually it will fit in like a flat rate envelope, so between eight and ten dollars and they're really quick. I have done it now at least three times. One time they told me that the bag was not repairable. There was like holes in the bottom where almost like mechanical pencils or had gone through the bottom. So they sent me a $45 credit. I was a, I then purchased a backpack, got it and sold it online. Uh, so I think I was in the profit like thirty dollars because you have to take into account the I originally got it at the bins and then the shipping. This one was a flower color. It was really cool. It initially came from the bins. I soaked it, got it really clean. My daughter did use it for an entire school year and it was just too big for her. There were too many pockets and that she is my hoarder of a child. So she would fill every pocket with Lord knows what. Anyway, a strap kind of started breaking. I sent it in over the summer and they sent it back with brand new, their newest backpacks. The straps are very, very squishy. So they got brand new straps attached. So anyway, if you find Jansport at the bins is what I'm trying to say, and it's quite damaged, not dirty. It has to be damaged, like a broken zipper or things like that. Um, to me, it's worth seeing because I have never had a problem selling Jansport. I also have three kids, which they could use them in the event. Anyway, uh, so it sold for $19. So it came from the bins. Yes, I had, I paid to ship it to them. I think it was like $8 and change. But my kid used it and I'm happy that it didn't have to go to the landfill and that they were able to fix it and now someone's gonna get a lot of use. Those straps are gonna last forever. All right, moving on. This pair of grasshopper shoes, these came from my mom and I'm like, mom, are these from like 1985? I don't know, <laughs> maybe they still make them, but somebody bought them for $10 on a Poshmark. Again, something that like, if she were to bring over to me today, I would be like, those are going to donation, but hey, there's a buyer for everything. I remind myself of this often. All right, this is going to be the last sale. So let me put my little stars here because I am now beyond that. But uh, the last item to get me to the, uh, the $500 again is actually an item you guys have already seen. This uh, when I, It went out just today. It was uh, Livy and Luca brown sandals and they sold for $28. So I think I was right in my memory. So that brought me right at the $1,500 mark, which was my next 500 and I've already sold more things since then, but here we are. So that is what is selling right now. Not a lot, and a lot of those are, you know, I would say, what's my average sale price? I think, I, I think Michael does my spreadsheets. My average sale, no profit. Mm, I don't think we do my average sale price. My average cost of goods is $4. Um, 
My average profit per piece, so I can tell you that because that's, that's how it's broken down, is $11.04 right now, which isn't a ton, but I will take it. You know, I'm selling a lot of bins items right now, which I love. So thank you guys so much for watching. My next video will be, I'm actually in the middle of filming two videos for you. Uh, we are going to go over what I'm selling in a consignment, what I chose to keep this time. I was a lot more picky. Um, I am cleaning shoes and we're doing a video all on shoes and listing and such. And then I'll be making a trip to the bin. So I am going to try to keep up with my content. I've been pretty good getting my videos out for you on Mondays and Thursdays. I appreciate all of you guys that take the time to give my videos a like and comment and a lot of you guys that chat with me over on Instagram. I do have my info down below. And some of you... Um, they changed where your requests go on Instagram. Like if we're not following each other and I didn't know that they changed it, it used to show me an alert. Now it doesn't. So anyway, sorry. I tried to get back to everybody that I found the other day. So, all right, Miss Bianca, it's time to get up. I'm meeting a friend for lunch today. I love it. I have one friend who she, we're both so busy with our kids, but we make a point once a month to get together for lunch and lunch ends up being like three hours. So maybe every other month, it just depends. And anyway, so we're going to go do that and I'm going to get, I've got a lot of things to cross list. I listed about 40 pairs of shoes over the weekend on Kittizen and now I've got to push them out. So, all right guys, I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday or whenever you are watching this. I appreciate you so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.